Music and Memphis go hand in hand, and the city's impact on the hip hop industry is known around the world. Now, one Shelby County commissioner wants to build a museum to celebrate those artists and the culture. To learn more about those efforts, Commissioner Mikel Lowry is joining us this morning. We really appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me, Kanji. Yeah. Happy Monday. Okay, so why do you why why this concept? Why do you think this is so important to the county? Well, I think it's important that you know the county of Memphis tell its story. Uh, so many times we talk about our music and what's developed right here in Memphis and other people take credit for it. And also too, we have other museums that are celebrating other genres of music, which is great. You know, we have Stacks, we have the Blues Foundation here, we have Sun Studios, and obviously we have Graceland. I believe Memphis is music, but we don't have a museum. Oh, don't let me forget about the rock and soul. But don't, we don't have a museum that celebrates the genre of hip hop. And right now, Memphis, is really just owning the culture when it comes to that. So I think it's just important for us to tell our story, but not only also give tourists and also our students some place to go and learn about the history of the genre. Right, when you have uh, Rihanna dancing with ASAP Rocky to Glorilla music, you know uh -huh. that it's, it's global. So let's talk about what phase are you in when it comes to making this happen? Sure, we're in the early phases. We've now just started working with uh, a couple consultants. One in particular is Trust Marketing right here in, uh, in Memphis. Uh, led by Ho Howard and Beverly Robertson. As people may know, Beverly Robertson was the executive director for the National Civil Rights Museum for 20 years. So well Perfect. Aware, right, what right, a match. Right. So uh, excited about what they're doing right now. They're meeting with stakeholders. They also was meeting with artists to determine what it should be like. Where should it be? Where should it be located? We want to make sure it has community involvement to build momentum for this project. Okay. Funding. Let's talk about funding. Everybody wants to know where is the money? Show me the money. Where, yeah. How do you fund this? Yeah, I'm with you. And again, we're still starting early with that, Kanji. Uh, I'm grateful to a county commission that was able to set aside some seed money to start us where we are now. So we have some little money put aside for this project to start with the development. But ultimately, to be a world-class museum, you're going to need stakeholders around the community and really around the country that comes in and has some stake in the game. So I believe if we come up with the right project, we'll see the artists come around, we'll see some stakeholders come and put funding towards this project. I have so many questions for you. Okay, so. Can you share anyone who is part of your coalition? Because I know whenever this kind of thing happens, there's a coalition of people that come forward. Or is that a secret? Well, you know, it's just so many people. It's one thing we start naming one, you gotta name them all. I can just tell you, we've had countless conversations with a lot of artists, with the Shelby County, um, music commission that just recently got started with the county commission as well so there are a slew of people that are on that commission they're artists they're stakeholders i mean it's just then starting to vacuum I, i'm glad for that people say hey the county commission wants to do it listen this idea isn't new i just hopefully got it started to where the broader conversation can start okay so where in town are you imagining this you, I'm, not, you, you, I'm not oh, married to where it's going to be okay okay listen, I because, like, okay, happen. if it's in North Memphis, I mean, that's Yogati's territory, right? No doubt, and then no if you can't, like, Castalia, that is, you know, you okay. know what I mean? So well, it's don't like. about Orange Mound. Yeah, I mean. All MJG stuff. Yeah. We got so many. That's a great well, thing. How about do you Memphis. keep it neutral? Because, I mean, there is beef. Well, I, you know, I look at it like this the important thing is to let's have it in a place where it celebrates the history. If it could be on some place that was considered hollow ground for hip hop in Memphis, that'd be great. But we have so many great artists, so many communities have an impact on hip hop. I don't think you just center it down to one. I said, let's find the right locations. That's number one. That's neutral. Best. Well, neutral. let's find the right location okay, that's, okay. that's best for not only for our tourists to come because it's going to have economic impact. This should be a world class museum that people travel to. Let's have a best impact that our students can get to for educational purposes. And let's go from there. Okay, let's get inside the vision. What do you see in the museum? You know, because uh, I, I know you visited with the New York folks. I did. Who ha that's in Brooklyn, right? It is. Okay. It is, and I'll tell you, that's amazing. And again, obviously, we're not New York. They build everything in verticals, but the great thing about that concept is that it has a housing component on top of it as well. They're building 80 units on top of the museum to, for affordable housing. I love to see something that, uh, like that with our museum here. But um, I think the concept, again, not only celebrates the beginning of hip hop, but really has a focus on the South. There's so many artists that have had a deep impact uh, from when it comes to hip hop that are related to the South. Obviously, heavy influence on Memphis, don't get me wrong, but I think if you bring in Florida, you bring in Mississippi, you bring in Texas, then people will want to flock to Memphis to see the, that museum and celebrate those artists. So I'm excited about the project. Yeah, so it's a regional thing, and then, I mean, but it is national. So um, would you consider maybe, uh, you know how the Smithsonian has satellite museums? Is that something where you might collaborate with New York to be? 
So you guys are in a system? Yeah, I think we should have those conversations. In fact, early on, uh, the New York Museum has also already said, this is a great idea, great concept. We'd love to partner in some kind of way. So we'll know what that means, even if that means sharing artifacts and things of that nature. I think once the momentum builds and once we really get the project off the ground, you can see having some collaborations with other museums as well. I think that's warranted. Okay, and how did they get around some of the saucy topics that are involved with hip hop? You know, like, you know. Yeah. Kaji, I think you just attack them head on. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had this conversation before. I think you equate this almost to the National Civil Rights Museum. We go in that museum to celebrate the history, but there's some uncomfortable conversations once we go in that museum, and they're warranted, they're needed. I think you do the same thing for hip hop. There's been some great music, there's been some social conscious music, there's probably been some music that's probably not been so positive. But have the conversation, so hopefully history will repeat itself, but people will understand this entertainment and what the impact is supposed to have. Okay, we, we have ran out of time, but what's your next step? Well, next steps now are still doing uh, stakeholder me uh, meetings with all the stakeholders and artists as well. So we look forward to getting a feasibility study back that shows us a timeline. It will give us location opportunities. And then there, we go raise more funds to do the next step. Should they email you if they want to contact you? If they want to email, sure. I'll put them directly. Mikkel.Lowry at MemphisTN.gov. Uh, Mikkel.Lowry. Uh, I'm sorry, Shelby, Shelby County. County. Yeah, Shelby County T N. Uh, or better yet, 222-1000. Call the office. 222-1000. Call the office. We'll get you plugged in. All right. Thank you, Commissioner Lowry. I don't know why. I just know the city email. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So